Welcome to Sunday School. We hope you have a great time with us this morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Sunday School. It is great to have you with us this morning. Now, this episode is one of the last ones in our Fruit of the Spirit series. I think there's a couple more left, but it's getting very close to the end now. I hope you've really, really enjoyed our videos. And if you uh, haven't seen any or you missed some of the series, then do go back and have a look at some of the videos. But the the fruit of the Spirit we're going to be looking at this morning is faithfulness. Now, faithfulness isn't a word we often use today, so let me try and help you to understand it. Faithfulness is all about keeping our promises or be trusting the people around us. Imagine you and your friend agreed to do something and you kept up that promise that you would do that thing together or they made you promise to keep a secret and you did, you did keep the secret with them. You will have been faithful to your friend. Now that's a little explanation of it, but there's a story I want to show you about that really explains faithfulness well. It's all about God's faithfulness to us. And it's something, a story you might have heard before. Stories of the Bible, Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colors, bird, moth, okay, all here. Noah did just that, and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Water covered the whole earth, and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, good girl so Noah knew that the flood waters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay! So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. See ya! Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, 
and all of mankind. Now that story shows God's faithfulness, how no matter what we do or the mistakes that people made, he is willing to be faithful and keep his promise. He kept his promise to Noah and his family that he would protect them and use them to carry on his plan for the world and to protect all the animals. And God's promise is true still today. He's never done anything like that since. He promised that he wouldn't. He promised to love us and protect us. And God in my life has never let me down. He's never broken that promise of loving me. He has always loved me. And he puts a rainbow in the sky to remind us of that promise, that he will never stop loving us. He will never give up trying to get to know us. Isn't that amazing? Now I wonder, if the next time you see a rainbow, you'll remember this session. You'll remember God's promise to love you no matter what. No matter what we do or think, no matter how much we get wrong. He will always love us. And a rainbow in the sky will make you remember that. Now in our story this morning, we uh, heard all about different animals and I wondered if we could do a quick quiz together to all about different animals. How does that sound? Yeah? We'll do that together now then. We'll have a quiz all about different animals. Let's 
before. I hope you've had a great time with us at Sunday School this morning, that you've enjoyed our story, playing along to our quiz and singing a great song. I'm sure your singing was fantastic. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon at Sunday School and I'll say goodbye for now, but I will see you again soon.